Hello and welcome. In last video, we looked at what is the data warehouse. The data warehouse is the storage of the data which makes it easy for retrieval whenever you want any analysis to be performed and presented to the management. Now, for this purpose, the data warehouse requires a different design uh, uh, methodology. Now, when we deal with the databases, we are dealing with two types of databases or we are dealing with two types of applications. One set of application is OLTP or online transaction processing applications. These are the kind of applications which generate the transactions. Any application that we see we use in day to day basis is OLTP application. We use the uh, uh, net banking application. We use websites like Amazon. Uh, uh, we, uh, you know, uh, you know, enter the data uh, uh, for say taxation. All these applications are generating the data. They record what is happening around us in the world. Now, this data is the source for analysis. But as we discussed, we when we analyze the data, we need the retrieval to be very very fast. The way OLTP applications deal with the database or the data storage is in the normalized form. What do I mean by that? The database is designed in such a way that data entry or data capturing is effective, is efficient. And for that to happen, we will try and reduce the number of times the same data needs to be input. If I need to type in the same information again and again to capture the transaction, it will cause the delay the efficiency or the productivity of the transaction processing goes down and if I have to type the same information and again and again then we humans are prone to making errors. So you will generate the errors when we are typing the same data over and over again. To avoid that the data is separated from one another. Whatever is common is separated into a separate table is stored in a separate table so that we type it only once and use it multiple times. I will give a simple example. We have an employee master where we store the employee's static data such as employee's employee ID, employee's name, date of birth, date of hiring, date of uh, 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 sorry, uh, you know, your uh, gender, uh, educational qualifications and things like that. So this is the static data. Now if I have to record the attendance of this employee and for that if I have to type this information every time then it is very time consuming process very inefficient process. So what do we do? We maintain the employee data in a separate table while the attendance record is maintained in a separate table and we link table 1 with table 2 through what we call as a primary key foreign key relationship. So the employee ID from employee master appears in the employee attendance record. That is how we link these two data sets. Now this is called as a normalized design. When it comes to the analysis that we want to perform, the retrieval is the key. So the objective is no more efficient data recording but efficient data retrieval. And to make the data retrieval efficient, what we need to do is we need to reduce the number of tables in which we maintain the data. So what would I ideally do is I will combine these two tables together and create one table which we call as a fact table. Now this is a different design methodology which is very specific to the applications which are of the type OLAP or online analytical processing applications. These applications are not there to create the data. They are there to consume the data which is already created by OLTP applications and produce the actionable insights for the decision making purpose. And hence the data retrieval has to be fast. And to make data retrieval fast as I said we collapse the number of joints. We collapse the normalized tables into a denormalized form. We convert the masters and transaction into what we call as facts and dimensions and then Using these facts and dimensions, we will run various different queries that will fetch that data and effectively produce the data visualizations and the insights that will form the basis of the uh, uh, decision making.
okay so the key difference between oltp and olap application is oltp applications are uh, databases are highly normalized while olap databases are highly denormalized the objective of oltp database is to capture the data accurately and efficiently while the objective of the olap application is to retrieve the data efficiently on demand i hope you understand the difference between these two in our courses you will learn how to convert an oltp design into olap design and use various different etl technologies and techniques to create a data warehouse hope to see you in our courses thank you